Before I start, I want to say look up hair anatomy so that way you can know where to place the hair on the head, where to put bangs, and where to put hair lines and other sorts of things that are prominent in hair, such as the scalp, the hair, or uh, and face, the face, there's facial anatomy, hair also should have anatomy. Let's go ahead and begin. Don't forget to subscribe, check out my channel playlist for individual tutorials on logic, sculpting, animation, music, and more. So what is style mode really for? Well, if you're a stylist, let's just say that whenever you make a line in flicks mode, and that's pretty much what all this is, what you can do from there is then go to this mode called clone. I think that's what it's called, duplicates. And then you want to put it on inside spear. You'd want to put these settings and then pretty much do this. This is how you can make hair without sculpting. I like sculpting hair a little bit more because you can make it look a little bit more straight, but style mode can also help with that. So here are the other settings just in case you may need those whenever you are duplicating. You might want to put these settings on, the animation settings on, these settings on, these settings on. Now the gravity is what's making the hair fold like that. If you don't want your hair to fold, you can do that. If you want it to go up, you can do that also with gravity. Just make sure it is on and you can see how you can make the hair go from a backwards J to an upwards J and other ways to where your hair can be more prominent and go down the way it needs to go on the scalp. You can also change the color right here. You can change the color in coat mode also, and you can do other wavy effects in effects mode, as well as just make the effects more prominent right here. Now here's where style mode goes into play. So let's say you have all your hair done. I recommend doing the face before you do the hair. You can use this mode also on your eyebrows and your eyelashes. So remember that whenever you're using or done with your sculpture face and you're ready to add the finishing touches to your hair and stuff like that. What you'll want to do is go to style mode. Then there's this thing called comb. Now you can actually comb your hair. All you have to do is hold it And you can actually see what it's doing. It actually makes your hair look a lot better. At least in my opinion. This can also make your hair more straight. You can mess around with the other modes. You can change the flicks of it, which is very important too. Sometimes I like going to the face and seeing if there's a mode in the flicks that'll make it appear more like pores. What you want to do with eyelashes, if you have your eyelashes done, you want to press it a few times over it if you've done it with flicks. And this can help with your hair shading. To me that looks a whole lot better. So remember this when you're making hair with flicks. You can choose to ruffle it and you can revert it if you want to also. At least I think you can. So you can also use apply flicks to change the flicks 
and all these other cool features also. You might also, with your hair and face, you can actually add in the lighting to actually make things more prominent on the hair if you want to do that also. What you want to do is just pull out the light. You want to make sure you're scoped in so that way it's just affecting that one object. So that way if you wanted to see it, you'd have to rescope in by pressing L1 and X. Make sure you're scoped in before you pull out the object on what part you want it to pretty much be attached to. And you can do cool things like that also. So this is how you make hair without sculpting in Dreams PS4. Again, all you have to do is go into flicks mode to get those flicks and then draw it out like this. And make sure it's downsized enough. You can use any kind of flick you want. Really, you just need to make sure it's like a line like that. At least it should be. And you might want to change this around. You can make mustaches beards it's really just finding the right flick for you I think that'll work and then pressing L1 and square on it then you might want to change the start point because it can fade out and fade in So do that and that. And then right here, change it to this mode. And then you got hair. And then you just gotta place it a bunch of times. You can change the finishes of it too, at least you should be able to. And change the color of it. You might want to raise that up all the way. Don't forget to adjust the spread to where it needs to be. And mess with your gravity settings. This is what will be what makes it wave. So it's starting at the bottom, so I'd want my hair to be more like this. And then all you have to do is mess with your comb settings, mess with the gravity of course, um, wind direction, local space, you can mess with that too. And you can add your effects modes too if you want to from here. You should also be able to scope in and mess with the lighting of it also, or the sky, sun and sky. I'm not sure if that'll mess with everything. It'll probably mess with everything if you do that. But you can technically do that too. Other things you can do is if you found hair that you want to use on the Dreamverse, what you want to do is scope into the face, right? So like, make sure you're not scoped into anything else. Let's go ahead and close out of the light. And remove everything. And then what you can do, since you're scoped into this right here, what you can do is now look for hair. And if there's ever any hair here, like this, it's actually hard to detach that hair since it's um, a sculpture. Here we go. Oh man, I hate it whenever I can't find the thing. The reason I can't find it, the reason it's out of uh, focus like that is because they didn't put the stamp thing in there. 
or link it to it. What I mean is there's a gadget that helps you do that. Or maybe you might not want to scope him whenever you put this down. Maybe you just want to look for it. We'll see. But the reason that it's not directly on my imp is because they didn't use this gadget right here. Auto guides. Auto guides would put it directly on the imp. This uh, doesn't have that. And messing with the lighting, you can like make it to where more of the face is visible. See what happens when I scope out. Oh, so it should be a part of the puppet if you do it like that. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. And then I want to change the color of it in all honesty. I like the shiny thingy. It probably makes it look worse, but I like that for some reason. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Ooh. I think we got it. Then we want to edit it a little bit, you know, maybe. Right here. Turn on blend mode. What you want to do to turn on blend mode is go to this and this and raise that. And you can do things like that, remix it. And this should be all you need to know about hair. And Dreams PS4. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Peace out, peace out, peace out.